Welcome to Audio Cultures for 2020. In this video, I'll provide you with the information that you need to successfully complete the subject. If you've found this video, then you've already successfully completed the enrolment process. If not, you should contact the Student Centre as soon as possible to complete the enrolment process. Or you can work through the steps on the Starting at UTS webpage. Simply Google Starting at UTS. In this video, I'll talk through where to find the subject outline, how to access the subject content on the UTS online website, I'll talk through the weekly activities that you'll be engaged in throughout the semester, I'll discuss the assessment tasks that you'll need to complete to pass the assessment. First up, we're going to locate the online content for the subject. Click on the link below or type in online.uts.edu.au into your web browser. Choose the link for UTS Online or Blackboard and enter your student number and your password. You'll see a list of the subjects in which you're currently enrolled. Click on the link for Audio Cultures 2020. Make sure you can see the menu on the left of the screen. To show the menu, move your mouse to the left and click on the pop-up arrow. If you're on mobile, click the arrow next to the page heading. The first and most important link on the menu is the subject outline. This PDF document is your official guide to the subject and the assessment. Make sure you download a copy and read through it carefully. If you have any questions about the material in the subject outline, Make sure you ask me in a lecture or tutorial, or send me an email. It's very likely other students will have the same question. Next, we'll look at the subject timetable and locations. You should register for tutorials and workshops on your My Student Admin site. You can check your personalised timetable at mytimetable.uts.edu.au. You can also check the timetable for any subject at this URL. Search for 50816, select the subject and click Show Timetable. The first screen shows the general pattern for all weeks. We can see that there is a one-hour lecture shown in blue at 9am on Fridays, then a series of two-hour tutorials shown in green at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. You should have registered for one of these tutorials on My Student Admin. There are also two-hour workshops in purple on Mondays or Thursdays. You should register for one of these as well. If we click on the right arrow at the top right of the screen, you can see which events are in which weeks. In week one, there is an introductory lecture and workshops, but no tutorial. In all other weeks, there is a lecture and a tutorial. Workshops continue each week until week 10. You can see the location for each of these events by clicking on it to see its details. Right now, the exact room numbers are not yet available, but they will be displayed here two weeks before the start of class. Interpreting the room numbers and finding their locations is not too hard. Let's assume the lecture is in room CB11.00.405. This shows CB for City Campus in Ultimo, Building 11, the big cheese grater building on Broadway, Level 00, and room number 405. Tutorials are usually in Building 3, that's on the corner of Broadway and Harris Street. The entry is on Harris Street. The music and sound design labs are on level 3 in rooms 036 and 037. Sometimes tutorials are in building 10, level 5, room 330. Check your timetable to find out. Now back to the subject site on UTS Online. Here we find links to the week-by-week -week content. In each week, there is a description of the lecture topic, the tutorial activities, 
the workshop topic and online support material, and finally, the reading and listening for the week. In the lecture, we cover topics that address the learning outcomes for the subject and that prepare you for the kind of thinking needed to complete the assessment tasks. In tutorials, we will do more practical hands-on activities that involve individual listening and writing tasks. The workshops support your technical skills development for both audio cultures and audio and music production. Everyone in music and sound design needs to master at least one, preferably two, professional digital audio workstations, and we'll be focusing on Avid Pro Tools and Ableton Live. Pro Tools is still the most widely used tool in professional studios in Australia and across the world, so you need to put in the hours to get up to speed on this important audio skill. Each week there are texts to read and media to listen to to prepare you for the lectures and tutorials and to set you up for the assessment. You can find links to the weekly activities both in the PDF subject outline and in the weekly content links on the online subject website. For week one, I've asked you to read a seminal text from the Canadian composer and sound ecology theorist R. Murray Schaefer, titled The Music of the Environment. This reading should get you thinking about sound in the environment and your role as a sound designer or composer in new ways. Make sure you complete the required reading each week, as we will be discussing this in class. You will probably want to take some notes about the key point or argument of the essay and any questions you have about it. We have guest audio professionals to present in week 4 and week 6, and a site visit in week 7 to discuss the audio design in the galleries at the State Library with the designers and the curators. Next up are the links to the assessment tasks. The basic task descriptions are presented in the subject outline, where you will also find the due dates for each task. The Opella language screening task must be completed by all students before the end of week two. You can find information about this in the week one lecture slides and by following the Opella link under My UTS Online. Under the assessment submission link, you will find a folder for each assessment task. First up are a series of quick, formative weekly quizzes and tasks that you should complete at the end of each workshop session in weeks one to five. These should help keep you on track with the workshop content. The first main assessment task is the in-class audio content analysis. Watch the 30-minute video to get an overview of the task. The link for submission is here as well. This task will be completed in week 6. Task 2 is the essay task. Read through the task description located in this folder carefully. The task is due at the end of week 9. The final task is the audio production exercise. There are several documents here to assist with completing the task. This task is due at the end of week 11. That's it for this brief introduction to audio cultures. If you get stuck on any of the points covered in this video, please send me an email. Make sure you ask lots of questions in class. Put in some work every week, learning to use Pro Tools, coming up with creative ideas for your projects, booking the recording gear, and listening to all sorts of interesting audio content. We're going to have fun this semester. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping you are too. Thanks.